Beast, you found some new toys to play with? Yeah. There's a new staff. <laughs> and there's uh, two-handed. Are, are you hearing what the town crier is shouting? No, what is he saying? Queen Justinia is murdering like two dozen noblemen for insubordination. Stuff like that. Yeah, I told you. She's evil. That's why I did a rebellion against her. <laughs> this this must be quite personal for you, Beast. Um, it, uh, it would probably behoove us to investigate that lead. It only gets personal when I stick my ex ex in her neck and look her in the eyes. Well, who's to say that someone worse won't take her place? Well, if, if that's the case, then I'll have to ask them multiple questions too. Uh, yes, yes. Is, is that dwarf culture? You just kill leaders until you get the one you want? Yeah. <laughs> Just keep slicing through them, I see. It's not like we have fertility problems. That is fat. You made it um, back safe and not dragon. That's all you gotta think about. <laughs> and we love the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> no fear of the sky whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, I just love that female dwarf that just walked past you like she just the way she walks is so cute to me <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> little strut. oh the dog it's killing me i know I'm so, uh, i don't want to i almost don't want to talk to it because i'm sure it's miserable this game is such a dick to dogs <laughs> <laughs> maybe i'll speak with the uh idle beggar Penny for a sick dog Oh, for a sick dog? <laughs> Who's the dog? <laughs> you? A glance at the dog's miserable face tells you it's sick, all right. Oh. <laughs> so what's wrong with the hound? What am I, dog's doctor? Dog sick? Go on, get a penny for a sick dog. Ah, uh, 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 may I pet the dog? Patty for a penny, you can sing him a love song and call him mummy. Do, we, do you not have any money? Is that why there isn't an option to give money? Yeah, I think I need more. I need actual money. I don't think I actually have... No, I don't have actual money. I think His Highness is keeping all of the money hostage. Although you have some... You have 15 gold, though. Do you uh, want to pass some of that along so that I can help our friend? Oh, I do. Yeah. Uh, send to fame. There you go. All right. Penny for a sick dog. Dog still sick, you know. Uh, here, take a take a shiny gold coin to f help your hound. Thank you kindly. A any chance of another one? Penny for a sick dog and all that. Yes, I, we should probably do this while His Highness is not around. I have a feeling that he would be a little bit a uh, bit of a stickler. Um, sure. Much obliged. Could I push you <laughs> He's reminding me a bit of the beggars from the alienage in Origins. Yes. <laughs> you end up getting just like a swarm of elves. Yes. I'm just curious. As... I'm just curious if anything as... happens. Yes. Sweeten your pot. You're very calm. How about another one? Penny for a sick dog? I'm pretty much going to be... Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. I will keep giving you a gold coin until you start repeating things <laughs> over and over again. So as long as you tell me something unique each time, you can have a new coin. Nice. Could I prevail upon you for just one more? Penny for a sick dog, ad infinitarium. Oh, you can, you know Latin? Oh, well, just for that, I'm giving you another one. As a spirit, how about just one more? Penny for a sick dog, dog sick, after all. Ah, sure. Much obliged. Could I push you for <laughs> one more? Penny for a sick dog, 
Chitra. I have to say, you're doing very well for this this sort of deal <laughs> that we're talking <laughs> about. Sure. Cheers. Can I trouble you for just one more <laughs> penny for a sick dog and so on? No, oh, and uh, you're starting to uh, you're starting to be a little unsure of your words, there, Mister Beggar, sir. He he sure has enough money to buy dog you're food right now. Mm. How about another one penny for a sick dog? Why don't we just give the dog food? Yes. <laughs> nice. Could I prevail upon you? For okay. Just well, now one you see there, you're repeating what you're saying. Sick. So, uh, I already gave you a penny. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Another penny for a sick dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not this time, your, your, sir. You already have. I already gave him ten, it seems. Then get out of the way, cheap skank. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I like you. I, I like you, sir. Penny for a sick dog, people. Go on there. I like him. Maybe you should speak with the dog. Have you heard any news? Okay. I'm really sorry, Ken. Good. The void woken are everywhere. Okay. Thank the divine you're here. The dog lies there quietly, clearly in great pain. What are you looking at? I'm sick here. Get lost. Uh, what is what is wrong? Got a pain in the neck. You got a bad pain in the neck. Uh, can I can I feel it? See if I could discern what's wrong. It flinches. A low, threatening growl builds within its throat. Let me just look here. I, maybe Under the collar, you find the sharpened points of oh my God. gouging the poor dog's uh. skin. The dog bears its teeth at you and growls. Oh. 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 Okay, I, I can heal this. Oh. What's that, Kevin? This guy needs to die. Yeah, yeah. that guy is that guy is a <laughs> swindler. Oh. Man, why, why didn't we speak to the dog first? Yeah. Whose idea was it? To... Ten gold for this. Who was it who t decided not to talk to the dog first? I didn't. I didn't want to, you know, get depressed. <laughs> well. I'm going to have to relieve this man of the ten gold that I gave the him at least. you a long, hard stare, but does not bite you. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to, to pull this inside out, so it's not digging into The dog goes to bite your hand, and then realizes the pain is gone. Hey, I feel... okay, thanks. Think I'll wander off now. Here, before I go, what can I do to show my gratitude? Uh, who put the collar on you? Master did. Mm. Mm. Mm, do you know what that means? Huh? Uh, wait a minute. Master hurted me? Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go now. But first, I have a thing I need to do. He turns to his master. Uh oh. You bad man, you! Don't uh. uh. do what he says now. Uh, yes. Now you have some explaining to do, Mister Beggar. I don't come in for a grievy beggar who's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just, as much as I would love to get very cross with this man, I just can't bring myself to be angry at him. <laughs> I definitely admire his tenacity. <laughs> uh, yes, I think I'm done there. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so there's a bunch of spells that I'm looking at, um, and I know that uh, Beast was eyeing some of the yeah. warfare oh books. This guy's too. looted. Books and that blitz weapons. weapons. Jump! Oh my gosh! There's two spells I would love to have, if possible. Okay. Um, there's four. the The merchant has four that I haven't learned yet, but I'm willing to just take two of them. Okay. For now. Fire away. Yeah. Was there a warfare book that you wanted, Beast? Yeah, the it, either the Phoenix Jump one or the Blitz attack. I don't, I don't know. It's Blitz something. Got it. I mean, do you do you think you would want to get both? I mean, are they relatively? If possible, 
Sure, but I think the Phoenix Jump one is more practical, so that way you don't have to like keep teleporting me away. I can just jump to places. Oh, Tactish, tactical retreat. This one's, j yeah, it could be tactical retreat or a charge. Than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. I sent you the the tyrant armor as well. If you can sell those. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I should send you stuff to sell. And I saw you talking to that guy, so. Yeah, so I've got a few books. Um, did we have? He doesn't sell any polymorph that I can see. Here. No, he. This it's another merchant that has the polymorph. Okay. Let's sell some sweet crossbow. <sighs> I know. He's got some good stuff. Uh, I don't need these anymore. I'm sure nobody will mind if I just drop these right here. I don't think anyone's going to say anything. Random ripped faces. I've got a five intestines. <clears throat> we have a fishing rod. There we are. I guess I can drop those crumbling skulls now. Yeah, I feel like they're not. Oh, are, do they cost anything? No, or not really. It's zero. Oh, right. They were tied to the labyrinth, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we just we teleported. We, we just teleported we around. Quote unquote <laughs> cheated, even though he said that wasn't part of the rule. <laughs> well, one thing I noticed during my play, my uh, one player playthrough, if you uh, are wearing um, Brachus Rex's ring, uh -huh. they'll just let you to the. The tower entrance. Oh. So you don't have to go through the gauntlet either if you just wear the ring. All this? Which is pretty awesome. How can you afford his stuff? I got me a sweet deal. That's all you need to know. Uh, any more books coming over or any not books, stuff. Oh, uh, I sent I sent you all of my stuff hmm? that I could sell. So we want books over gear to start, right? For me, I would. Okay. Do you uh, want these flowers? That I assume that you picked up and sent to me. Uh, I've used um, I've been making potions out of what we okay, okay. could make potions of. Okay. Uh, okay, where's the other merchants? Back over we'll be here. visiting Haran again. Yeah, there's a guy right here. This guy with all the books right here. This way, there. to the south, to the south, to the south, right here. Uvis. So, uh, I think the one I really want is the summon oil blob, uh, and then there's also a grow spider legs polymorph spell, which I think would be cool. Did you did you see the summoning books over here, Sibyl? I didn't. No, I haven't uh, been to that one. What do they have? Oh, I just, I exited out. Oh, just that's cool. I'll, I'll take a look. We might have enough money left over to get out another book if you really want one. Do you have the memory slots for another spell? Um, I'm, I can unmemorize stuff that I don't use because there are a lot of spells I don't yeah. use. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. The, there are some cool necromancy stuff in here as well. Hmm. Uh, there's books to beast. There's books to fame. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, yes, knowledge. There's an ability knowledge. that increases physical armor. Um, that could be useful. Um, yeah. Unless any of you are holding out on me, we might have. No, you're not. Um, Whoa! It's like wait, there's I can just check. <laughs> there's a necromancer ability that gives me death resist. For two turns, your character's vitality cannot be reduced below one point, keeping them alive against all odds. Oh wow! Hmm. That's cool. I can probably sell enough to be able to buy one more book. I don't mind saving it. 
Unless somebody has something, sees something they really would like. Um, yeah, I mean, there are, are some really cool necromancer stuff, but I can I can do without, um, you know. We can, we can buy one more. Let's pick, pick one you like the most. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Finally. <laughs> 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 Spider legs, spider legs. You're about to get it now, beggar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I could. There's a, the skill, a summoning skill called Soulmate. Um, you bind yourself to a target character, copying any healing or armor restoration you receive to them. Clears frozen, stunned, knocked down, and petrified from target character. Interesting. That's interesting. Ah, spider legs! Whoa! I look like a crab. So I, I can take, so I can take soul, soulmate or bone cage, which improves physical armor, or I can give the one that gives me death resist for two turns. What do you guys think? And there's another. There are a couple of others. Dominate mind. I can target a non-allied character, and they can join our side for two turns. Um, actually, that sounds pretty cool. I could do that. Ooh! I give you stacks Ooh. on stacks of poison fish. Fame. Okay. Um. I have a Grimer. <laughs> It's a grimer or a muck. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't want to oh. start anything. <laughs> I am Kerrigan, queen of the Zerg. Oh goodness, that's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I mean, where did that come from? I have no idea. Uh, oh, you become you become hasted whenever you are enwebbed. That's funny. You could be a dwarf. Alright, so I gotta sell a few things to get enough to buy this other shenanigans. Alright. Well, we'll go back out to the. Sorry. Ooh. Cool. All right, who shall we torment? I mean, speak to next. <laughs> we could uh, check out this house up here. There seems to be something going on here. Sure. There was also a elf back there too, if you want to speak with her. Uh, Actually, there's all these silent watchers. Are they monks? They might be monks. There's a dwarf up there as well. Maybe Beast wants they to are. speak to her. And there's a. You said this town crier had something to say too. Uh, he is just crying about just in the end, her tyranting ways. Oh, he doesn't have anything else to add than what he's spouting out loud, everybody? Uh, possibly. Mm, someone is welcome to speak to him. I will. Beast, it's your cue. <laughs> or you can speak with him. Uh, uh, that is okay. You, you said there's an elf for me to speak to. I will speak to that. Beast, Beast can have this one. Oh, enjoy. Latest news fresh from the War Owl. Hear all about it. Sure, tell me the latest. And your latest, my friend. The war, the bishop, the queen. What tickles your fancy? Uh, the Even queen. The queen, please. Jolly Justinia, queen of the dwarves. Ha! Scourge, more like. You're telling me. Here's 20 or so, noble gentlemen. No one knows what they did wrong, if anything. And she has them stripped and whipped all the way to the execution grounds. Didn't even give them the dignity of the sword. No, sir. Had them all hung. Real slow, like. Stripped and whipped? Her. Sounds like me, her. I say she's mad as a mink with its tail on fire. Begging your pardon, of course. No, it's all good. Uh, 
What about this war? I ain't looking too good for them lizards. Word is the divine order's gonna win the ancient empire and hit it hard. Uh, you don't say. You remember what happened to the elves, don't you? Ain't no one left standing when you treat them to death, Frog. Ugh. What's death, Frog? The stuff I that did... doesn't affect you. <laughs> yeah, the thing you walk oh. through without an issue. No wonder I don't pay attention to it. That, that sounded like it was very important to the Red Prince. <coughs> uh, well, what, what about the bishop? Seven sabers. Stabbed in the back he was by them vile, low-born, treacherous seekers. You don't say. Kill them all, the I seekers. say. Do them like Magister Raymond did, old Lady Seaver. That'll teach them traitors. Yes, it. I'm sure it will. I mean, they doomed us all, didn't they? The son of the divine is... Dead! Gone! Who'll save us now? Who indeed? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's go quick. <laughs> who else? Uh, who did we want to speak to next? Did, there's a dwarf up there? Or... Uh... or we could go up these stairs? Or... Someone go somewhere. Once, this was a tavern. Or a hotel. Or a wrong <laughs> One of the three. <laughs> well. One of the three. Oh. Uh. This is... Oh, there's a lot of things got gone here. Keep your eyes peeled, would you? Ramos, the one oh my... Promised he'd be it's Varric! Varric, what are you doing here? <laughs> what happened to... What happened to Bianca? <laughs> where's the chest hair? Yeah, I was gonna say, where's that chest hair? You need to unbutton some of those buttons, mister. Uh -huh. <laughs> got gold. Do you want to speak with your friend, please? Oh, sure. Your friend who is clearly not a spy. Clearly. You've interrupted my newest masterpiece. I could care less, beardless. <laughs> the bard opens his mouth to continue his poem, but another glance at your face has him choking on his own spit. Uh, don't. Oh, the beast himself infests this rotting town, does he? Oh, the poems I've heard chanted of your deeds and misdeeds. <laughs> See, I knew you knew him. Beast, you're infamous. Yes, mm. well, I tried to kill their queen. <laughs> Yes, misdeeds to some. Mm. Never composed a beast ballad myself, come to think of it. I tell you what, I shall craft a rhyme for you. All I ask in return is a handful of coins. It's an offer of a lifetime. <laughs> He's going to write <laughs> shit about me. <clears throat> Surely wouldn't demand such a payment from a hero as renowned as yourself. Oh, as my... As my <laughs> I was like, what? I'd argue with you, but you do have a certain look about you. Very well. Oh. But if I am to write a first-rate work, you must face some difficult questions. Are you prepared to answer? Uh, well, first, uh. before I po possibly make you mad at me, what do you have for sale? <laughs> <laughs> this uh. is a very, like, beast-oriented... Um, like the, yeah. the events of this area are very beast oriented. I like it. He's got nothing. Uh, He's sure. Beast. I'm, I'm he ready. He stares at you for a few torturing moments. You're making it awkward, lad. <laughs> I think he likes you. Most fellow dwarves prefer drinking chance to the fine art I offer. But I oh, see. Oh, really? The redness of your nose, the lilt of your gait. Drink can get the better of you, yes? He seems to be. Very enticed by your appearance, beast. <laughs> the drink never gets the better of me. I get better of the drink. He smiles a crooked smile and runs a hand through his greasy hair. Hmm. Not that I could judge a dwarf for his drinking habits. After all, the kingdom is a shadow of its former self. Who is to blame for its collapse? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. 
Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder what you're gonna say. The kingdom is destroying itself. The poor are giving to the rich. Oh, amazing, isn't it? That so many of us must beg for scraps while royalty feasts on fresh meat and grain. Condemn our queen, if you dare. I accept your dare, Mr. Bard. Kingdom must be torn away from that horrific woman. The Bard hems and haws, then bellows his next words to anyone who might hear. To all lovers of verse, I bring glorious news. I have completed another modern classic. Listen oh, gosh. And Bro, in its I got wait. Let's hear it. Oh, I want to hear. I want to <laughs> hear. And praise the dwarven race. A show. Don't let nearly a drop go to waste. <laughs> what was that? A sip of rum, a frothy pint of ale. <laughs> and then a flask of whiskey for the trail. Beast, why Alas, did you? We've seen them tumble from the tower. Why did you undress yourself in front of him? Of power. It's because I lost intelligence. Oh. Stripped the power. Hides within her gilded manor <laughs> and dares to wave her tattered, tarnished banner. Yes. Wow. Bravo! That was bravo. That was that was good. That was very good. Oh, some other people liked it. <laughs> That's really cool. You're famous. That's going to bite us in the end, probably. <laughs> this woman seems to enjoy those that verse as well. That's a verse that she can drink to. Yeah, clearly not the spy. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so there's a lot of people to talk to in the city. Yes. And we're going to talk to all of them, I think. Yes. That's okay. We need a little respite from talking to, you know, horrible corpses and rats and all the terrible things on the last island. Mm -hmm. And there's enormous wine barrels here. Mm. Well, you lead the way, friends. I found the Meister's house. We can meet her at our leisure. Yes, I think a little bit of reconnaissance around the city would do us some good. We are uh, short on funds as well, just as a heads up. If we see opportunities that will not get us eaten, I say we go for them. Why don't you start picking people, beast? This is your... Well, your neighborhood a little bit. Seem to have established that all dwarves know each other, at least. And this one sings a song about you. Yes, a little too much. Shall I, uh, hush him? <laughs> uh, if you want to start trouble. No. Not yet. Although after that encounter with the other magister at the docks, I am... Uh, my finger feels a bit itchy for magister blood. I can get behind that. Um... Well, why doesn't someone talk to Prudence, the... She seems to be the barkeep. They always know stuff, right? Uh, Fane, you're good with talking. You do it. All right, all right. And in a starched apron, wipes a glass with a clean rag. She pins you with blue, steel sharp eyes as you approach the bar. Uh, let's see. Hello. Blessings upon our nation, seven times divine. Echo, 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 echo. Uh, apparently, I'm expecting. She's expecting something from me. Uh. Nice to meet you. She looks at you. She looks at your hand. She looks back at you. Either the human is an imbecile, or that's not the correct response. Uh, and his seven blessings upon us undeserving. The soft lines of her face fold into a warm smile. 
She sets the glass on the counter and pours you a drink. You should probably tell her her god is dead. 